Yeah, folks will argue, you know, email's dead. E email's never been more alive. Like, this is the idea of it being an own channel, a direct line into your customers, your leads, those opportunities. It's still the best channel by which to reach folks and, and get the truest or most sincere engagement, quite frankly. Now, how we track that engagement, completely changing, quite honestly, like to understand opens or click throughs, things like that. Like it's, it, a lot of that's going to get obfuscated. Um, so I think the quality of what you're sending through email or how folks engage with that is going to, it has to come up, right? Like there's just gonna have to be more attention to that. And I think um, the best marketing already is something that's more of value versus promotional. Right, like it's educational, it's insightful, it's um, you'll bring a level of emotion into the experience. So, if you're already doing that, great, you're ahead of the curve. Uh, but I think it, it's going to have to go for more in that direction. And I think automation will follow in that same respect. Right, um, the ways of which automation is working today, I believe, will completely just evolve around tying an AI to it. Like it's just going to change. Even today, like we're, we have a feature and active campaign we've been experimenting with where could you just go in and type out just open text, the automation you want built. So it could be, Hey, I, you know, I want to, I'm trying to book shape for the podcast. So when I book a guest for the podcast, I want you to send an email explaining, you know, here's what to expect, you know, on the podcast, uh, the week before the podcast, I want you to send a reminder and make them sure that they can confirm that they're going to be there. Day before, send the reminder one more time. Make sure you include the recording link. Um, after recording, you know, send them a thank you. Wait a week, remind me to make sure we get it published or send the assets back. Like you just type that out, hit enter, and then we'll just build it for you. Like literally writing the content of the emails, putting all the you know the wait steps in there, understanding the date of when something is booked through a custom field in your database, things like that. Like that will just work now versus you having to go build that completely changes things. I think that idea is going to go even further uh, to the idea where, say you're running an event. It's like, hey, I'm running, running this online event. Uh, I wanna sell as many tickets as possible. I think it should probably start with a you know coupon code to get started, maybe for the first 50 people, after the first 50 people register, change the price of the event or move the early bird access. And then, yeah, make sure everyone has a no before they go and uh, send a follow up thank you afterwards. And you just, you just type that out. And then the automation will be like, cool, all right, got it. We're gonna invite everyone uh, into this that we believe to be uh, the most applicable or attended audience. Um, we're gonna run a coupon, then we're gonna change the price of the event for you and adjust it after so many people register. We'll build up the automations. Like, I think that lens of it's going to go much, much deeper to where I'm not just describing the automation I want, but I'm actually just gonna describe the outcome I'm seeking. And it will come up with some of the marketing campaigns for me. Um, and that, this is a little scary, honestly, to think about. Uh, but there's, I think that's a reality. And one that I'm, I'm I don't want to fight. Like, I want to find ways to harness and run with and get the most from that. Uh, and believe that, frankly, automation or AI could just be essentially more folks on the team, right? It could be like adding marketers to our team that we should just begin to use in that way. So, um I think we're headed in that direction. I don't know how far off we are, but uh, if the acceleration of it has been anything in the last 12 months, I don't think it's that far away.